Hey guys, Claude Johnson here from GuitarControl.com. So today I want to talk about playing blues licks. And uh, I want to do the key of B with you guys. I like the key of B because it's not too low in the neck and it's not too high. And of course I'm talking about the root position right here, 7th fret. Okay? So, like I said, not too low, like, you know, down here if you're playing F, you really have to, really have to, you know, put a lot of pressure to play those bends. And it's not too high up either where your fingers are all pinched together. It's right kind of in that sweet spot. Of course, you should be able to play in any key, but we're going to go with B, you know, for today. So. So hopefully you know your basic pentatonic scale, you know, the, the root position sh uh, shape, which would be like one, three, or sorry, one, four, and then one, three, one, three, and then one, four on the high, the two high strings. I'll go over that in more detail in another video. Um, check out just a basic beginner pentatonic scale, and uh, I'll show you that. Separately. So let's say you know that. Now, how do you play some like sweet blues licks, you know? Well, you have to be able to bend the strings. Okay? So the basic technique is you want to bend up. And so all I'm doing there is just literally bending the string, pushing it up with my fingers until I reach the next note of the scale. So the hardest thing for beginners to do is to bend in pitch, okay? So the easy way to, to practice that, get ready on your note and then play the note that you're going to bend to and then bend it and make sure you're in pitch. So for example, if I'm here on the ninth fret, and I, and, I, and I want to bend up to the 11th fret, I'll play that and listen with my ear. Okay? So now that you have that down, um, you basically want to look at each note that in the scale and what you can bend to. So the most common one is the one that I just showed you. Okay? You can do that one, you can do this one. You're always going to be bending up two frets or a whole step. So the most common bends are going to be the second note on each string. So what I mean by that, you have this basic pentatonic pattern with two notes on each string. So the higher note is the one you want to bend. Okay? Now you can bend the, the other note. For example, if you were here, you could do this. So, but normally you wouldn't really bend these ones too much. Well, I guess you could. It's, it sounds all right. But it's less common. So why don't we just focus on these uh, three bends to start with. This one, this one, and this one. And notice these are with the pinky. And I'm also doing what's called reinforced bending which means I don't just have this finger on here. I got my other fingers behind it, and especially with the pinky, I got three fingers behind it, so I'm using all my fingers to bend that up, okay? Now you also wanna practice the bend with vibrato, which can be difficult at first. Now remember, vibrato is when we shape the note, right? When you bend it, Bend it and then do the then do the vibrato. Excuse me. Okay. So once you got that down, what you want to do is basically just do a bend 
and then start going either up or down the scale. So for example, down the scale. Notice that I release the bend too. So bend, release, and then walk down. You could also do up. Right there's a nice little lick. Bend, ninth fret, and then we're gonna hit the uh, seventh fret on the B string. We'll just do a vibrato. Nice little two note lick. You do this. Same thing here. And here, you know, you can do, just do the bend release and vibrato. Same thing with here. So just try to bend and then just walk around the scale. Never forget to do your, your vibrato, it just kind of emphasizes things. So hopefully that gives you some ideas, like a really nice place to uh, get started working your blues licks. And uh, if you'd like to learn more about lead guitar, check out my beginner lead guitar course, guitarcontrol.com slash lead. Uh, I'll show you all the things you need to know about bending, vibrato, uh, playing licks, a whole bunch of other stuff, playing over a, a backing track, how to sound good and play from the heart. If you're a little bit more advanced, check out my other course, Killer Guitar Control Secrets, at guitarcontrol.com slash secrets. Uh, but definitely, uh, all you newbies out there, check out guitarcontrol.com slash lead. All right, once again, I hope this uh, was a helpful lesson, and I'll catch you next time.